In this clip, I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool and feathering an edge. There are two different ways that you can crop an image. First is over here in the Motion tab. You notice the Crop bar. There's a little arrow next to it. Go ahead and hit it, twirl it down. Now, these sliders adjust the size of the image. Now, cropping is basically just cutting off sections of your image. So if I move this left slider over, you can see that now the left side of my image, a lot of it has been cut off. And you can see this line right here, that's this new, this new line that's been added, that's where the crop is at. I just drag it back and the image is now revealed. And you can do that for all the different sides, up, bottom, top, whatever. Um, that's only if you want to do a uh, specifically with numerical values though because you can you can put a numerical value for if you want it cropped by 20 or whatever you want. Personally my favorite way is to use the crop tool which is down here in your tool palette. This is the crop tool. You bring it up here now you notice once you move that tool to the edge you can see it takes shape of the crop tool your cursor takes the shape of the crop tool. You just click and hold and then you can crop it in. So you can crop the sides, you can crop the bottom and the top. So that's a good way to get rid of a certain portion of an image if you need to shrink it down. But you know it's kind of, it's a little hard. The edge of it's a bit harsh. Now you can put a feather onto that edge. Over in the motion tab under the crop settings this bottom selection is edge feather. Now you turn that up and it and it feathers the edge of your crop. So now you can see it's feathered now. It's not just a straight cut. There is a feather to it. So now if I do look at just the image, you know, that's not bad. Instead of just it looking like it got cut off, now it looks like there's kind of a fade into black going on.